Welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've uploaded last. Been pretty busy. Um, been getting on new games with my friends, but today we're actually going to be hopping on Phasmophobia. We're going to be talking about Ridgeview Cores. Ridgeview Core. It's a nice map, right? But the reason you clicked on the video, what's for? We're going to be talking about the new XP farming strategy that I use personally. I at the beginning today, I was at like a hundred dollars, and I I played a few games that I'm already up to twelve thousand. You can make anywhere from like two thousand five hundred to six thousand a game if you get a perfect game. Um, so all you're gonna do here are the settings. You're gonna have zero sanity, zero pill restoration, two hundred drain speed, sprinting's on, player speed's a hundred, flashlights are off, um, the ghost speed's a hundred, roaming frequency is high, changing favorite room is high, activity level low, event frequency low, friendly ghost off, grace period zero seconds, hunt direction high, and of course no evidence. This is a no evidence run. Um, you have no setup time. The weather's gonna be heavy rain. You can fluctuate this out. Um, I actually found out that heavy rain does make this the highest um, rewards multiplier though, so I just use that. It doesn't really affect me that much. Um, door shutting open high, number of higher places, none. Oh, we're actually going to hide behind the fridge, which it's technically not a hiding place, but the ghost will never find you there. Um, no sanity monitor, no activity monitor. Make sure the fuse box is on. You could test for a gin, um, but we really don't need it to be visible because if it turns it off, it rules off it. <clears throat> I. That should, if you do everything right, this should give you a 10.75. And what I'm bringing, um, you don't, of course, you don't need any of these. If you want to bring a UV, uh, level 2 UV light, just for some light without um, using uh, electricity because of a rev, or not a rev, sorry, a Raiju, uh, you can bring this. And when you activate it, it will, it will give you some light, but I don't really use this. Um, what I'm going to bring, you're going to bring two crucifixes, four incense, a parabolic microphone, a three salt one f uh, photo camera you can bring a motion sensor if you're like i'll bring a motion sensor four igniters and four firelights um make sure you have no cursed possession on you can also do this with cursed possession on um you just want to use the the tarot cards and the tarot cards are spawn right when you enter this will give you the ability to um get ghost events you can easier com uh, complete your um tasks easier because of course you can get ghost events um which which you know maybe it, it's get a ghost event incense ghost event uh is pretty low it's it's pretty hard to get that without waiting a very long time but if you do activate it with a tarot card it does bump it down to a 9.5 so if that's something you really like if it really would help you go ahead and change it but for me i don't really need the tarot card so i'm going to stick with a 10.75 <clears throat> all right let's start up the game Alright, so what first thing you're gonna do when you enter, you're gonna grab the key and open up the key, it open up the truck. Since this is a no evidence run and the sanity is zero, you're gonna want to grab a crucifix just in case it does spawn right on top of you. The ghost will activate the crucifix in your hand instead of instant killing you. You're gonna want to bring a salt, uh, incense, and of course matches. You're gonna come over here to the front of the door. Let me turn them out real quick. You're going to come over to the front door, open up, turn all the surrounding lights on, light the candle, turn this on, place down your salt right at the edge, at the base of the stairs. Once you do that, you're going to leave. Make sure you only have, oh, uh, forgot. Just once you enter, just drop your crucifix down. You don't need it. Uh, we'll put one later in our hiding spot just to be, just to be sure it doesn't spawn right on top of us. You're gonna come back to the to the truck. This time you're gonna grab two salts. Make sure you always have an inc um, incense stick on you, because uh, this is a no evidence run, and you're gonna be you're gonna be out a lot. Just be in since you have zero sanity, you could hunt pretty quickly, and of course, that's never a good thing. Um, so after we put down all the salt, that that's gonna help us test for a wraith, and it's also gonna help us. Um, if we do get the ghost wrong, we'll at least get some of our money back from the equipment just because we have uh, ghost photos if it's if it's not a wraith. Um, I'm going to grab the motion sensor and I'm actually going to grab another crucifix. We're going to come, we're going to put this uh, at the bottom of the stairs just to tell when it walks over it and we can test if it's a wraith by hearing it because of course it is blocked off by the salt. So that it has to walk over the salt if the motion sensor goes off. 
So now we have uh, another crucifix. We're going to take this crucifix and we're going to put it on this corner table right here. This is going to prevent it from, um, sorry, on the stove. This is going to prevent it from hunting when it's over there. So when, when it's hunting, you're just going to run right behind here and hide. Now let's listen. Now from this hunt alone, I can already tell it's not four of the, the ghosts. It is not a Revenant, it is not a Diogen, a Morai, or a Thay. It's not a Revenant because Revenants are very slow without line of sight. With line of sight, they are one of the fastest ghosts in the game. A Diogen would be fast until it reaches you, which would slow down, but it always finds you. It hasn't found me, so it's not a Diogen. Since we have zero sanity, a Morai would have been super fast, which it's not. And a Thay, to start out fast, with time spent in the ghost room, their speed decreases, so it's not a Thay either. I don't think it's the twins, but I'm going to hold off on that. So you're going to hold your smudge stick. Leave. Now let's check. It did not turn off the breaker, so it can still be a gin. Let's go back to the truck. Get a parabolic microphone to test for a banshee. As well as our photo camera. Let's go see if it's a wraith from looking at the salt, unless it did not step on the salt. It did. It's going to take one, two, hunting. We're going to run back over to our hiding spot, hold out our incense just in case it saw my camera. Let's listen. It came down the stairs. Yeah, so it is in fact not a wraith. Sounds to be throwing a lot of stuff. Stop hunting. Let's exit. Breaker's still on. Could still be a gin. So now we're going to check uh, check for visuals. So what I would do is I would just get a stopwatch like I have on my phone. And you're going to smudge the ghost, start your timer. And if it hunts after one minute, it's a demon. If it hunts after 1.30, it's a normal. And if it hunts after three, it is a spirit. Since the thing is, since the breaker is still on, it, it is a it could still be a gin. Only we would we would determine it's not a gin once it turns off the breaker, which it hasn't. Now don't be fooled by gins. Gins are very tricky because they can also um, let me get a photo of this bone. Gins can also pop the breaker by just turning on. If you have too many lights and they turn on one, they can also pop the breaker that way. So don't be fooled. Gins can make the breaker turn off if you have too many lights on just by popping it. So from its footsteps, I can also tell it's not the twins. It hasn't switched its um, it hasn't switched its speed to slower or faster, so it's the, it's not the twins. Still going. Gonna get four more photos just for just in case I don't get the ghost correct. It looks like my candle is still lit, which is good. I'm actually gonna go out. We don't need this parabolic right now. Uh, we'll also drop the camera because well, we don't need the camera right now. We're gonna test for a gin by using line of sight as well as an oni and a phantom. So we're gonna grab another incense stick. I'll just grab a candle. Actually, I'll show you guys what it's like, just in case you want to use the glow stick. Now, the glow stick isn't required. You can do this without. You can do this with all level and equipment, um, which is nice. And this is a really easy way to make money. All you're going to do is you're going to activate your glow stick. Just drop it down here. You can see. Or drop it anywhere you would like to see. This is just in case the gin does. Or sorry, this in case the ghost does turn off the breaker. So we're going to spam this. Check for Yuri. 
Our uh, yokai, sorry. Hey, he's coming down the stairs, so it's not a yokai. Oh, if you saw that, it switched models. Oh, as you can see, it switched models from the guy holding the scythe um, to the girl in the dress with the long hair. This is how I knew it wasn't a bake or an obake instantly. Um, that's just just something you have to memorize from the ghost traits. So we're in a smudge. And if you saw that, just for a split second, it did switch models, which means it is an obake or an obake. Let's wait for it to finish. Oh. Looks like it got me. That's unfortunate. But we did get it right. It is an obake. Uh, it's unfortunate that it found me. I don't know. I don't know how it found me. But this this hiding place is not 100% secure. But you'll notice that it will say we got it correct. Obake. Okay. And I didn't get to use any of these, but... It gives you a good amount of money. I didn't. I, I died, so I didn't get the uh, the ten x multiplier. But if I did, I would have gotten around. Uh, let's see, a hundred, hundred thirty. I would have gotten around three thousand dollars. So if the, if you're looking for a way to uh, level up really easily with a very cheap amount of um, stuff, with all level one stuff, you don't need to be a high level for this. Um, just just rewatch this video, and uh, I'll put up other videos on how to tell what each ghost does. But this is a quick video, of course, on Ridgeview Court, just um, how to farm XP. But I'll see you guys in the next video.